Hello everyone, this is Plunky Gamer back with the third part of Black Sand. Now to recap, uh, we got a cheeseburger for this guy, the homeless guy uh, behind who stays behind the gym. Uh, he was really happy after the after he ate the burger, and he himself said that there were four people who uh, he heard uh, coming out and going in. Uh, in from the back uh, entrance of the gym uh, one guy uh, threw a paint can into the dumpster one guy threw a chest expander into the dumpster um, one guy uh, ran past him in a haste and another guy actually uh, walked by him and he heard him heard a click so um, we still aren't sure who they are but uh, maybe we can do something um and find out maybe what what could link all the clues that we found so let's start ha so there is some one clue that can be linked or, or two clues that can be linked uh okay someone threw a chest expander in the trash weekly took it okay very explicit photograph of rhino and his lover okay that there's a smudged racial slur painted on yale's locker mary has nice and neat handwriting uh there's something fishy about dance so so i said okay who do the footprints at the gym belong to someone threw paint can in the trash Yale's locker is full of surprises. Uh, okay, so the thing is, uh, Yale's locker is full of surprises, uh, and uh, someone threw a chest expander in the trash. But the thing is, they just showed the box. They didn't say if it was empty or if it if there's a if the chest expander was missing or something like that. Someone threw a paint can in the trash. Doesn't answer. Who who do the footprints? um at the gym belong to so the only thing i feel could be a link is yale's locker is full of surprises and uh, surprises as in they show the box that has a chest expander but they don't tell us if it's empty but there's most likely it is empty and if it is empty then it could be the one the chest expander that is missing you know the one that was thrown in the trash so why don't we just li link that and Link this. Someone threw it. Just. No, oh, it's correct. Well, I know this much: the chest expander in the trash belongs to Yale. Hmm. Okay. So we deduced that right. Um. Okay. So since we we went to the the diner last time, we spoke to Mary. Um. So Mary is. Sorry. Wrong one. Just a minute. Come on, come on. Okay, this guy slum back. Uh his friend Bobby Yale, the missing guy. Check six minute box in the locker kill done wait what? Chest expander box in the locker. Kill done. Wait, I kill. Kill done with it, is it? That's what it is. With it, then threw it in the dumpster. Reigning champion fighter. Wait, that's what he deduced. Okay, could be, could be. I mean, who knows? Yeah, Sonia, nothing much. Get in and left four people. Okay, stood at the door. Didn't get in and left four people. Used back door. Went out. 
threw something in the dumpster went out threw something in the dumpster looked at the beggar and laughed I ran out panting why is it in jordan's page so yeah mary panel that's that's the woman we went to meet at the diner and we bought the burger from her there's no lady can't go there for now okay funny fine man let's go okay so we'll go to the diner and see what what else can uh, mary tell us i mean there should have been jog jogging would have been nice okay yes joe dunn's boxing gym during the war that's all is it gorilla hey wolf oh pa pa wa so what do you think i mean it is a slow game there's a lot of walking and talking but let's see maybe it's going to get really really interesting it is interesting but maybe a little more okay let's go in let's see what more she can tell us what can you tell me about sonia dunn uh jordan where could bobby yell be okay we'll ask about sonia dunn what can you tell me about sonia dunn i barely know her but she looks like a smart girl or thing what do you think about jake ostiombe ostiombe what do you think about jake ostiombe ostiombe okay who's that a big gorilla boxer too a friend of joe dunn's oh yeah i barely know him i don't like how he looks at me okay what can you tell me about your job yeah can i ask you about your job oh uh, which one uh yeah let's ask about the gym first how long have you worked at the gym it's been what 4 or 5 years although i don't think i'll be able to set foot in there again this must be really hard for you i'm sorry What about Tell me about your work here in the diner. Oh, it's wonderful. I love it. My boss. Oh. <laughs> glad to hear that. Uh, do you work anywhere else? Yeah. Other than the diner and the gym, you don't work anywhere else, right? I wouldn't have the time, although I'm not sure I want to continue working at the gym. I don't know. The thing is I we still don't know what could be the reason for this suicide or murder uh and i don't want to send her if that i mean if it's po- if there is a possibility that i send her there and in the future of the game she is found dead too i don't want to take that chance so until you find out the actual mystery behind this suicide or murder You know, it's better if she stays away from the gym. It might be best to stay away from the gym, at least for a while, for your own well-being. In due time, things might change. Joey used to say the same thing. Maybe, I don't know. Thanks. <laughs> she she says that, and then she pauses and says, "Maybe I don't know." I think she's hiding things from us. Maybe there was some relationship between her and Jordan. Where could Bobby Yale be? I'm sure she won't know, but yeah, let's ask. Any ideas where Bobby Yale could be? How, how am I supposed to know? He's really there when I clean the gym. Bobby seems like a nice kid, but I 
I barely know him. Okay, Joe Dunn. Let's talk a bit more about Joe Dunn. Yeah. Can you tell me how you found Dunn's body? Well, I thought I was alone. I clean early in the morning before Mr. Dunn comes in. Oh, so you have keys to the gym? Yes, of course. There was paint on the floor, so I thought it'd be a busy morning. And then I saw him hanging there like a baby mobile over a crib. Then I think I panicked. When I calmed down, I called the police and waited outside. Sorry, that's all I can say. Don't worry. But if you remember anything else, let me know. Mm, what kind of boss was done? How was done notes? Sorry, first you'll ask how the boss was. What kind of boss was Joe Dunn? A good one. Always paid on time. Never raised his voice. If I asked for the day off, he even cleaned the gym. Mm. I was done outside the gym. How was Joe Dunn outside the gym? I wouldn't know. I only saw him at the gym or right there. That was his spot. I still feel she's hiding I think something from everyone us. Everyone liked him. Thanks, but I still don't get why he'd commit suicide. Problems with his daughter? I heard his relationship with his daughter wasn't ideal. Oh, really? Poor man. I don't have kids, but that has to be really hard. He had money issues. Yeah, it seems like it. Maybe he simply had money issues. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Could be. The gym didn't really get that dirty lately. <laughs> what she means is there are very few people who joined that gym probably. He was a widow, yeah. His wife died years ago. Maybe he never got over it. Yeah, I don't know. Or maybe he did. That was a long time ago. Anything else? I don't know. Remembered anything else about the moment you found Dunn's body? I'm afraid not. It's too painful. I know. But we need to find... So was it a bug? Anything, any minor detail, could really make a difference. I'll try. So can we ask it again? Have you remembered anything else about the moment you found Dunn's body? I really can't remember anything. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so that's it, I guess. I think that's it for now. See you around. We'll miss you at Sam's Diner. Bye bye. I don't understand why, in between the conversation, the camera panned to the specials. Can you even see the specials? Nope. And let's see what's in this direction. Thing. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, we found a bug, guys. We found a bug. <laughs> what? No. 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 She won't run past me. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> okay, let's continue. One step in front. One. 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 <laughs> okay. Let's get back. So, um, she called the cops. That's what she said. And we have a, a officer we we know. In the previous uh, in the previous episode, there was an option to call the officer. We'll call him and we'll see what he knows about the case. We'll call call him from the gym. From the gym. Okay, move it, move it. Let's go to the gym now.
due to the sudden and unexpected death of Joseph R. Dunn, a pi- private service for family and friends will be held at St. Fergus Church on Friday, October 14th at 6 p.m. Oh, nice. Yeah, I got a card too. <laughs> Anything else? No? no. Okay, let's go in, let's go in! Looks like an envelope. Sonia Thank you, Mr. Blacksad. Does the postman always leave your mail on the floor? I don't know. I... I... Something's gonna happen. What's wrong? It's... It's my mother's wedding ring. Tan Swipes wedding ring is in... Was in the envelope with Sonia's name handwritten on do you know who had it? My father wore it on his pinky finger after she died. Not always, apparently. Will you find out why? I'll try. But there's something else I'm worried about. This might have something to do with the... Dunn's murder, Bobby Yale's disappearance. Both could be... Your father's death and Bobby Yale's disappearance. Oh. Oh my, yes. Could be. Nice and steady heartbeat. Okay. Big, bright eyes. Looks well rested. Neither she didn't mourn her father. Or she really knows how to work that makeup. Cool as ice. Anything else? What the? What's wrong? Someone's taking pictures from the rooftop. Are you sure? I'll go take a look. that rope for, Miss Dunn? What the hell are you doing here? Uh, oh. <laughs> hey, hey, look! Isn't that Cassidy? <laughs> We didn't hear him screaming, but closing the door, we did. Sad little. Why don't we settle this over ice cream, huh, John? Just like in the good old days. <laughs> How did you get up here? I don't want anyone to see you. Hmm. <laughs> Clever guy. Like the good old days. That's what. That's how we they used. They used, he used to eat a lot of ice cream in the graphic novel. Not bad. Everyone, even the most hapless of creatures, has a gift. Something that makes them special, that makes them worth knowing. Foul smelling weakly is no exception. No matter what he does, it's impossible to stay mad at him for too long. Mmm. Ah, this bourbon shake is delicious. Want a taste? You know I don't like milk. Your loss. So, Joe Dunn hangs himself. He leaves his gym to his daughter, which makes her the first woman to run a boxing gym, I think. Yeah, the question is why... The real question is, why did he commit suicide? Well, it's pretty obvious. Is that so? Care to shed some light on this, Sherlock? Well, there's no need to look for reasons. People hang themselves every day out of sadness. And stuff like that. End of story. No. 
It was money trip. Everyone knows that Jim had some serious money issues. Maybe he just got tired of fighting. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's just a hunch. I wouldn't bet my life on it. I've got other suspects. Like O'Leary, the bookmaker. Desmond O'Leary? The same O'Leary who used to date Helen Moore? America's sweetheart? Now that's a woman. And then there's the walls. Who was that guy? Come on. You've never heard of Frank Cassidy? The president of the Boxing Managers Association? Who's also Stone's agent. Bobby Yale's rival. Hmm. He might know why Dunn killed himself, right? I decided to ask Weekly to investigate Cassidy. My reasons? Weekly was right. Cassidy could have known why Dunn killed himself. Weekly had already proven to be nosy. The farther I kept him from the gym, the better. Yeah. But with Weekly, you just never know what the best approach might be. Should I give him an order or a subtle suggestion? Suggestion. Come on. I know you're dying to ask me to investigate Cassidy. I can see it in your face. Well, uh, yeah, maybe. You don't even have to ask. Consider it done. But you'll have to do me a favor. Tell Sonya Dunn that a legendary journalist from What's News wants an interview. Weekly, please. Well, if not, bye-bye, Cassidy. No, if I didn't. All right. I'll see what I can do. Great. That's settled then. I mean, he... I like this guy. And I didn't say I will. I just said I'll see what I can do. So, was there really someone on the roof? No one. I must be seeing things. A hallucinating detective. This must be my lucky day. <laughs> Don't even see what I'm selecting. Dunn kept files on the gym's staff and clients. Name, address, and date of birth. Miss Dunn, can I run a couple of questions by you? If they help you find Yale, go ahead. I think I already observed her, so... Yeah. So that's done. Uh, what was the old discuss video? Okay. That. I saw you arguing with a guy named Cassidy. What did he want? Uh, you remember the fight that needs to take place in order to save this gym? Well, Cassidy manages Yale's rival, Stone, the reigning champion. If Bobby doesn't show up, he'll lose money. Maybe not a lot, but enough to care. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Oh, two new deductions. But wait, I want to talk to her even more. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Oh damn, I thought there were more options to talk about. Okay, let's deduce. Okay, the chest expander was in the trash belonged to Yale. Okay, you know that. Mary has a nice handwriting. Does it seem similar? No? Okay. <laughs> Dunn's wife's wedding ring has was in an envelope with Sonia's name on it. 
weekly talk radio there's a Arthur Otaka I don't know who Arthur Utaka is. Could it be this? Okay. Mary okay. put the wedding ring in the envelope and wrote Sonia Dunn on it. But why did she have the ring in the first place? One more. Unstable. What new did we find out actually? Weekly took on a smudged facial slur painted on Yale's locker. with the staff information on Dunn's table what does that have to do with the someone threw a paint no. okay I'm a bit confused right now. You see, this nothing. This is something that I'm, I'm not sure. Like, who's Tucker? Who who is this Arthur or Tucker? Did I miss something? You know what? Let's see the notes. Let's see the notes. Okay. Tried something works for Larry. Friends to Joe and Sonia. Okay. Okay. To do. Something is Tons daughter called his eyes. Sonia hired me to find a BL mother's wedding ring appeared in the envelope. Hmm.
See, that's what I don't find anything that um, talks about Arthur. Is there is a there are cards with staff information on Dunn's table. Okay. I'm not sure. Has to be who do the footprints at gym belong to? That guy? Is that one? Could it be? No. I know it's not. I'm something to do with Arthur or Tucker. Mm, it's a six hundred trash room. Yeah, there's a smudge. No, what? Let's go to the locker. Do anything here? I'd like to take a look inside that safe now. Could you give me the combination? I'd love to help you, but my mother's birthday used to be the combination, but I already tried it. Happy family. Mm, she was pretty. Okay, let's do this. Go the locker and see if someone. Oh, sorry, guys. Could I ask him something? Okay, Jake. I told you, Desmond O'Leary. Huh? I know you work for him. Now you're just making stuff up. Why would you say that? So, I saw the shamrock in your locker. Yeah. I know what it means. Okay, let's say you're right. So what? What are you gonna do, huh? I could tell your friend Sonia. Does she know? Don't you dare. All right. You win, pussycat. Business isn't going that well lately. Natalia was my last well-paying job, and it's been a while. Then, O'Leary shows up and offers me a, b a, a, a bodyguard contract. What was I supposed to do? You could have said no. Yeah, like you never take uh, shady business. I'd never take a job like that. Hey, uh, O'Leary might run an illegal gambling operation, but it's not like he's killing people or I did take a plane, though. And I, I'm just a bodyguard. I make sure no one gets hurt. What I do, including my contract, paycheck, is 100% legal. How bad can that be? O'Leary pays you with dirty money, and you're part of a criminal organization. 
There's no two ways about it. But that's not what bothers me. You covering up a role in Juno's death? I think they played a role. Okay. I know you're covering up O'Leary's role in Joe Dunn's death. Huh? O'Leary? No way. I mean, I don't think so. Jake, please. Well, I guess there's no point in hiding it now. I was here the day Dunn died. Go on. I had to take care of some business for O'Leary. He makes me wear the shamrock when I work for him. As you know, I left the damn thing in my locker. Say no more. You came in the back door. How did you... Yeah, that's it. Joe had mentioned he'd been painting that afternoon, but I forgot. I stopped in my tracks when I saw him screaming bloody murder at Bobby Hill at the top of the scaffold. Did this happen often? Not in the last few years. Apparently, Bobby wanted to do something. Something that horrified Joe. So, Joe threatened to call off the fight against Stone and kick him out of the gym for good. I didn't want them to see me, so I left. Jake, why didn't you tell me? See, I knew you'd be mad. Obviously. I'm sorry, John. I should have said something. Don't worry. We all make mistakes. Time to go. I need to think about everything you just told me. I think I Thanks. You should have warned me. Okay, so... Still one, but I want to know who Arthur is, man. Can I... Can I see anything here? Damn it. Ha! <sighs> Okay guys, it's been a long video and uh, <laughs> I think I need little time to brush a little bit of my memory and find out and try to link the clues. But we'll do it together in the next fourth episode. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am enjoying playing this game. Uh, thank you so much. I do appreciate you coming over and watching and taking a uh, few, maybe half an hour of your, of your precious time and and watch me play thank you so much uh, i really appreciate it and i would really appreciate you more if you subscribe comment and share this video if you like it uh, among the friends who would be interested to watch me play black sad have a nice day and see you next time take care guys